Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you guys another NHL 16 commentary and uh, this video I'm just going to be giving you guys a small little update on my previous video I made just kind of addressing a couple things I said as well as kind of just talking about the comments as well I thought it was pretty interesting to read uh, but anyways, as you guys can see I am in the game in NHL 16 I definitely opened up a lot of the packs I'll probably show it on screen right now but the, I did pull a Dion FNAF milestone card pretty sick card if I say so myself so I'll give that away to you guys what I'm gonna basically be doing is I'm gonna do all my giveaways on Twitter but instead of doing it on my main Twitter account where there's like 14 I think there's 16 something thousand people following that's maybe not necessarily watching my videos I want to basically make this a subscriber only giveaway so what I'm gonna be doing is I will be uh, making a new Twitter account and you guys on my I guess subscribers you guys gotta watch this video and you can just click the link in the description box below and all you have to do is retweet that giveaway and you have a chance to win I, I will just be using a giveaway chooser that I can find on Google uh, so all you have to do retweet to enter and uh, I'll choose the winner on both Xbox or PS4 I'm pretty sure I can still do that I gotta ask the developers but Xbox one or PS4 you guys can participate and you don't have to worry about like three four thousand people entering because it should be only just my subscribers Alright, so with that out of the way, I'm going to keep opening up some packs here. we still got 42 unopened packs to open, so uh, I'll just get through them just a little bit. We got some uh, player premium packs there. We got some mega packs that we still got to open. Uh, the team of the week isn't that great, so I'm not expecting anything too great, but you never know. Maybe we'll pull like a base OB or Crosby, so we'll get these opened up. Uh, we'll do... I'm, I kind of want to save the player premium packs for maybe like the team of the week when... Or something else better comes out, I mean... Team of the week this week is kind of weak. I, I don't know. Let's open up. Uh, let's open up these gold rare packs. We got like ten of them left, or fifteen. I don't exactly know, but we'll get these opened up and we'll talk about some stuff in the video. All right, so let's get this opened up. So the first thing I want to talk about is just addressing um, kind of the weed addiction I was going through. Uh, some people kind of didn't understand what I was talking about, and I, I agree to both points. Some people are saying that uh, weed isn't addicting, which I agree on. Uh, if you smoke it in inconsistently or you do it once in a while it's not addicting at all I, there should be no addictive properties but uh, the way I smoked I smoked like I can't imagine six seven months in a row I mean like this was consistently every day and when I went kind of cold turkey on it uh, starting December it, it just really uh, my body craved it all the time I, I can't even tell you I, I was going through a lot of bad symptoms like like I said in my previous video um, I think if anybody were to go through um, say smoking six seven months in a row you, you can imagine how much your body craves that drug it's almost anything like say if you drink a lot of sugar if you drink sugar every day or, or drink sugar every day if you consume sugar on a daily basis or say you drink coffee on a very daily basis and you kind of stop all of a sudden your body kind of needs it uh, to keep going so I think that's what I was going through I'm not exactly 100% sure if that was the main reason I mean there are some other factors I guess that could play into it maybe some type of depression and I just wasn't motivated to make videos it could be that as well but that is kind of like my main suspicion I guess I can't really prove 100% that it was an addiction or withdrawal symptoms but uh, that is kind of just what it was pointing to all right so I'm also going to be talking about some video ideas that I want to share with you guys I picked up a lot of ideas from the comments so uh, I kind of want I kind of know where I want to go with this channel and what type of series I want to put on this channel as well that you guys can watch so first of all, I will be continuing Hut Roulette. I'm thinking I will try to play maybe six, seven more games with it. I, I don't exactly know yet. There's a lot of new players that I want to try out. And uh, I think I will keep continuing the Hut Roulette series until you guys think that I should maybe restart it. I know there's some people that wanted me to restart it, but the team is, isn't really fully built yet. And it, can, it could get a lot better for sure, especially with all these new special cards and November cards. We can bring it back from the dead. I mean, we still have the... Um, I think the um, flashback junior, junior flashback Kane. What am I saying? Junior flashback Kane that we still haven't really given a chance to try out yet, and I want to really kind of give it some more uh, time to kind of build this team. Also, uh, I also was trying to see which one you guys wanted to see more, uh, see more on my channel. Whether you wanted to see a pack squads or more of a uh, Ovi's hut. And to me, I feel like I don't have the rules too ironed out on my Ovi's hut. And I kind of don't want to rebuild. From the beginning i want two really good series that you guys can watch every single day and that you can look forward to i'm thinking right now pack squads is kind of the way to go and um 
Last year, I didn't do um, the rule where if I lost a game, I should remove a player. And I think that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So how the pack squad works is uh, every game I win, uh, I get to open up 187.50 pack. And there we go. We got a team of the week. We got a, a Miller. Let's see here. Let's take a look at his stats. First uh, team of the week in a while. Not the greatest team of the week, but I, I will keep him for sure. Add it to the collection. But um, basically, for every win in a row I get, uh, I can open up 187.50 packs. So if I get three games in a row, three games in a row, three, game in a, three games in a row that I win, I can uh, buy three 87.50 packs. And if I lose a game, then I have to remove a player using random.org. I'll use a list generator to remove a position off the team. I didn't do that last year, so I think that's going to make it a little bit more interesting for this year as well. A little bit different. All right, but that is pretty much the two series I want to do on my channel so far. Those two series together back in the day were just a, just a crazy tandem. I, I loved it. And it always kept me interested. Like, Hut Roulette is interesting in its own way. Pack Squads is kind of interesting in its own way. And uh, sometimes you get lucky with Pack Squads. Sometimes you get lucky with Hut Roulette. I think uh, those two will go hand in hand with each other. So that's basically where I'm kind of heading towards uh, for the next maybe couple of weeks or so. We'll see how that goes, but there's only one, only time will tell, so. Also, we got a pretty nice card there, Seabrook. How much is he worth nowadays? 10,000 coins. I think the the player prices have kind of gone up a little bit. I'm not sure. I remember his price being a little bit more uh, cheaper, so maybe the prices have gone up a little bit since uh, December, I guess, since Christmas, which is pretty nice. So we got three more packs left for the gold rare packs. We'll open these rest up, and then I, we'll end off the episode there. Also... I will be streaming soon uh, once I start feeling a little bit better. Um, I, I don't want to do it exactly now. I still kind of want to make sure my YouTube channel is on track before I kind of get started with streaming because streaming does take up a lot of the, my time if I plan to do it more frequently at least and it does take a lot out of my voice and everything. And I think I want to stick with YouTube videos first and once I'm comfortable kind of playing games again and just interacting with my audience, I think that will be coming out very shortly. So that's, what's, that's what I'm planning to do. Hopefully that plan sounds good to you. You guys can let me know what, how you feel about that in the comments. Uh, let's just take a look at the rest of the packs. I drank a lot of coffee this morning, so I'm a little bit, I guess, hyped up. My mind's running pretty fast right now. So, last gold rare pack, and we'll end off the episode. And I'll open up those rest of those 20 packs in some other, like, pack opening video where I'll give you guys another update on what's happening. And in this pack, we- Oh, shit! Wow, Connor McDavid? I, I swore he was like an 84 overall, so they gave him a huge boost. Damn, I, that's the first time pulling Connor McDavid. Man, I, I like that card. 89 skating, 89 shooting. I definitely think his hands should be a lot better. I mean, if you guys saw that uh, goal against Columbus, man, I don't, I don't think like Kessel could do that ever. He's got some pretty sick mitts. All right, anyways, that's a pretty good way to end off the video. Connor McDavid, the man himself. All right, there you go. Oh, sh oh man, I hate sending stuff in my inbox. Got to quick sell those later. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this update video. I uh, just want to address a couple things like the weed addiction and kind of like um, just where I want to go with my series. If you guys kind of like that idea where I'm going with Hut Roulette and Pack Squads at the same time, as well as I will be streaming a little bit sooner. I mean, I'm pretty much done most of my midterms and testing. Uh, it's they all kind of happen the first month so just getting rid of those I have like another month just to kind of uh, get myself back on my feet uh, make sure I stay on top of my work my YouTube and it should be good to go so I mean, that's about it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this small little update video clear some things up as well as give you guys a little bit of a foresight into what I'm seeing with this channel and what you guys can look forward to so anyways guys thanks for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video bye I'm looking for you. 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 I'm loo